my breakfast. So I have got a spinach, lots of spinach, um, which is what I really fancy, with some ham and some egg. I've got uh, boiled eggs, I've got two there. And I've got a two, just under a tablespoon of sriracha sauce, which is half a sim. I've also got my second hydromate of the day and my uh, first cup of tea. I've had two coffees already. I've had a really bad night's sleep. Um, so uh, I need all the caffeine today. Um, I've got here the Yorkshire Biscuit Brew, which I really like. So I'm having a cup of that um, using my almond milk, which is um, my almond milk I use. It's the unsweetened version and I use half the amount. Um, so it's half my healthy extra A. And that covers all my teas and coffees for the day and more. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is my breakfast. Hello, it is Monday the 20th of August. Hope you've all had a fab weekend. I just thought I'd come on here and have a little chat um, about my weekend away. Um, so yeah, we went to Bath for the weekend. Um, my mum had the kids on the Friday and Darren's mum came down Friday afternoon and he, um, Darren's dad came after work, which was about sort of five o'clock. Um, and Darren's parents were staying for two nights um, and then my mum back, went back Friday night um, to look after the kids and so we went we left sort of about I guess about 11 we should have left a little bit earlier because um, we didn't get down we didn't get to the place to half four just because of traffic on the M25 um, we thought we'd take an easy ride and maybe stop somewhere we did stop at the service station so sort of 45 minutes of that was at the service stations and which felt really weird because like we both like desperately needed the loo and I think we were like near Swindon somewhere and we just thought I oh, would we'll stop here um, and go and have a wee break and it was like oh do you want to go first or shall I and it's because you're so used to having the kids in the car so it was quite nice that we could both go to the toilet on our own for <laughs> like um without having to worry about the kids and then we just had our lunch there and then we headed on over to where we need to get to which was just below i can't remember it was coombs hayes we stayed in like a little airbnb um what i had done on the friday is i made sandwiches for darren and i made some crusted quiche the previous day for myself um well that i had left over so i took that with me and I also took, or I made corn meatballs for the boys because Sydney's vegetarian and I, I made a massive batch and there was actually enough for when we got back last night actually. So we had that for dinner as well. But I took some with us on Friday with some pasta that I weighed out um, just so that I didn't want to take loads, I'd have to bring loads back. Um, I took oats as well, so we had, I had porridge oats for breakfast and I also took took one of the little chocolate soyas um, so it was my half my healthy extra A and I had that um, and Darren had a little bit as well um, I uh, had been I took some oranges as well so I had some speed um, bananas apples so we were fine for that I also took some high fi bars so on the Friday when we got there we had like a little look around and then we thought we'd have sort of an early tea about sort of six ish seven ish and then we there was a little pub five minute walk so down this country lane um it is like a five minute walk but obviously we had to bring the torch coming back um when we came back because it's pitch black <laughs> and it's really narrow so you kind of like have to wave the torch about so that any cars could see you but luckily there was no cars on the way back um and yeah it was really sweet just really lovely little cottage well it's like a little cabin um if i remember i'll insert some pictures um, here um, after this like little chat um, what else so yeah I had that we also bought some beers um, when we stopped at the service station and we had like um, I think Australia beers so had those so on Friday I was really on plan but I did probably go slightly over my sins because I had a gin gin and tonic at the pub that was all I was gonna allow it um, I didn't feel deprived I just felt like I enjoyed it I didn't want to drink any more and that was that was enough um and then so on the saturday we got up early we had our breakfast so i had the porridge oats and took i took some fruit out with us um i also took i think some crisps as well so i bought those lentil crisps that i showed in my video so i took those a packet of those crisp for darren um but we were planning to eat out and i was going to have an off-plan day so but i just wanted to kind of keep it 
like on plan and i you know i'm not one of those people i never have been that i want to go out and like go all out and have burgers and chips and there's nothing wrong with that if you're going want to go off plan but it's just not something i would have done previous to slimming world it's just or like i wouldn't go out and have a, like a massive greasy pizza i would have pizza express if i fancied it or if i go to ask i might have a pizza if, if i fancied it but I didn't, you know, it wasn't something we did. We we had a mass, we did so much walking. We did eight miles in total, walking around all day, bath. Um, we parked the car, oh, hello. And um, yeah, so we walked, we parked up in like some residential roads and walked into Bath. And then we thought we'd get the bus back, but it was actually quite near. And even though we've been walking all day, we did actually walk back to the car. Um, so yeah, we were walking around and I wanted to go to this vegan restaurant that my friend recommended, but going there, I found out they temporarily, temporarily had shut down. So I was a bit kind of gutted because I really wanted to go there. Um, but we did found this little, like, inter sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, so we went into Bath and we found this little like, independent cafe and it's like, well, it's like a bakery, but they make all their breads and everything like that. And I really didn't want a sandwich because I just don't, Again, it's something I wouldn't have chosen before Slimming World anyway. But I really fancy like a wrap or something. And they had these beetroot wraps. So I'm going to insert a photo. Um, there was like a coleslaw on the side, which was quite oily. Well, I say oily, but it was very vinaigrette as well. Um, and, but it was obviously full of speed. And inside the wrap, there was lots of spinach, roasted vegetables. So like aubergine, courgettes, peppers, carrots, roasted carrots as well in there. Um, what else? Oh, and go a little bit goat's cheese and hummus. And it was just tasted amazing. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so we had that and then we had some more fruit later on and then we did lots of shopping before that. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the bits that I've got. Um, I'll show you sort of later on. But it was just nice going shopping without the children. Like, it's something we don't really do. We don't really go shopping with the children because it's too. I find it too stressful. They get bored. Sydney quite likes going out shopping um, and he's quite good actually if you go shopping with me but Ralph's that little bit young and I just don't think it's fair on them it's not something we do I do most of my shopping online um, but it was nice you know we don't have a Primark here um, where in my town unless I go to the other town but I never really go over there um, so it's quite nice to have a, there was this massive Primark and it was quite nice to go around there and Darren wouldn't even think about going in there and he managed to get some jeans that he really liked um that walked along the river and then we headed back sort of about five o'clock got home sort of got changed and spoke to the boys and then went back into bath we were going to go to a country pub but we didn't really fancy it and darren was like i really fancy wagamamas <laughs> um i had asked on my instagram on my personal cat and on my slimming world one and um so I had some really lovely recommendations, but I didn't really get around to book anything. I was a bit unorganised there, but we're hopefully definitely going to go back to Bath. So I've got those recommendations and I will, I will definitely book it and plan ahead this time. And I think next time we might go sort of for three nights just so that we can kind of get more from it. Because like we spent all day, most Friday travelling. We would obviously go earlier as well. Um, spent most of the day travelling and then Sunday we kind of poodled back and stopped on the way back in Winchester. Um, but yeah, on Saturday night, we went out to Wagamama's. I had a beer, and again, when I got back, we had the other um, beers out of the four packs. I didn't really drink a lot, but I was definitely over my sins on Saturday, and I didn't care, Like, but I chose wisely. So it's just stuff that, yeah, I didn't overindulge, didn't have a pudding or anything. Um, I'm not really a pudding person anyway, apart from my grape nut cheesecake or a quark speciality or something but yeah when I go to restaurants I'm not really I'm more about the spot starters um and we did share some adami beans and the goyoza which are the steamed dumplings which are really nice yes I had a really nice day and then yesterday it was completely on plan I had the oats in the morning we stopped off and I had my first subway sal salad which was amazing like we have a subway in town I never I don't think I've ever walked, stepped in there. Like, Darren loves Subways, but I'm like, oh no. So I just think about the bread. But then I've seen everyone with their salads, and I'm like, I've got to try one. So we went around Win Winchester, and we got um, a Subway. Darren got 
he got a 12 inch one um, and ate half of it and then had the other half later and I had a Subway salad and it's something I would have chosen I wouldn't have chosen a Subway because I'm not really a baguette like I'm not a bread person like I love bread but I have to be in the mood for it and I'm, I would never go and choose a sandwich or something like that anyway even before Simming World I would maybe sometimes have a convenience it was my only option but I wouldn't enjoy it so I probably would have chosen a salad anyway. So I had um, the rotisserie chicken, which I believe is sin-free. Um, I know the others, there's some slight sins to some of them, um, but most of the meat are free. And I had it with, I can't remember what sauce it was, sweet chilli sauce, which was two and a half sins. So yeah, really impressed. And it was so filling. I know some people have, depending on which subway to go and which member of staff it is, but this guy was quite generous with the salad um so yeah really enjoyed that and then we just came back and luckily there was some corn meatballs in the fridge so we had that for dinner to, the, in the evening and um yeah I just felt like I had a really good down plan I also had a crunchy yesterday I think but I was still within my sins I was 14 sins and then today um, I'll show you my breakfast I'm not going to do SP I was going to um but I just don't want to deprive myself. I might have an SP day tomorrow, but today I'm just like, I really fancy potatoes. Sorry, I'm just having a cup of tea. And, um, oh, let's put it around the back. It's going to knock it over otherwise. Um, yeah, so I decided today, today I'm just going to go have extra easy. I really fancy some potatoes. And I might do an SP day tomorrow because it's the day before way day. Um, but yeah, yeah. That's it really. I thought I would just have a little catch up with you and let you know how our weekend was, but it was just really, really relaxing. I just felt like, I mean, you know, behind the scenes I have, we all have problems, don't we, going on? Um, and that, you know, is still there, but I feel much more rested. Um, we worked out that the last time we actually went away was up to London and I wasn't even pregnant with Ralph at the time. Um, and it was, we were friends. We went out for, I think, mine and a friend of my, ours. Um, we share the same sort of birthday weekend. And we went up to London and sort of celebrated and I, um, in this really lovely restaurant. And that was our, it was one night. Um, so it wasn't even on our own. I don't think we've actually had a weekend away, just on our own. And I think it's definitely what we needed. And now that Ralph's a bit older, we can maybe do that more often. My mum was more than happy to come and stay for a couple of nights if she needed to. And um, so I think maybe next time we sort of split it between the two of them. Um, and we're definitely going to do it in the summer holidays because it makes such a difference. It just breaks it up. Last week, I don't know if I was... I don't know if there was something going on with the... We were in Mercury retrograde. We have been for a little while. I don't really know about this stuff. But everyone talks about it and I have felt like quite up and down. Last week I was feeling very emotional and on the day before we went I just didn't know if I wanted to go. I just felt emotional, hormonal, I don't know. And I'm, I'm like, I had Star Week the week before so I don't know what it was but I just felt like awful and I just wanted to cry and I, got, I was just getting cross about silly little things and... The next day I woke up, I felt absolutely fine. And then we were going away. So I don't know what's going on. There must be something. <laughs> There's something in this because whenever there is like this, is it Mercury retrograde or whatever retrograde? And it can make things different. I don't know if anyone else believes in this. But the more I hear about it, it makes sense. <laughs> My children always play up as well when there's a full moon. Um, yeah, like really play up. So <laughs> maybe there is something in it. Um, anyway, I'm waffling now. I'm going to go, um, because today we've got, we're having a quiet day this morning. I was going to go to boot camp, but I think I'm just going to go Wednesday and Thursday now because I want to do boxing and I quite like Thursday weights. And yeah, I'm going to have a sort of easy day at home and we've got Sydney's friend coming around in about an hour and a half. So they just want to play, excuse me, they're going to go probably go and play in the den. And it looks like it's going to be quite a nice day looking out the window now. Um, so I may go to the park later. We'll see. Um, I think they just want to hang out in the den. And they've got pizzas. They want Sydney request pizzas. So I ordered some pizzas and I did a mini shopping shopping delivery this morning. But I'm going to go and hang my washing out because it's a beautiful day. And it's just finished. So I shall speak to you all soon. And I'll show you what I got in my little... Um, 
what is it? Primani, what else did I get? New Look, Hall. That was it. I will show you later. Bye. So I'm just having a little uh, mid-morning snack of coffee and a pear. Also, um, while I remember, I've been meaning to um, let you know, a few people have messaged me um, about the Warburton's protein seeded bagels. They're not a healthy extra B. Um, check the app, it's actually the Thins. Um, I've only had one, which was ages ago, and I haven't opened this package yet. And I know that Dan will eat them, so I'll give them to him unless I want to send them. But yeah, apologies if you thought that. Um, as I do always say, please check the app. But I thought it was, I just didn't read that it was thins. Sorry, it's the thins, like squares, not the thins bagels. Um, so yeah, apologies. I mean, it's all on the app, it's on the website. Um, but yeah, I do apologise. Um, I just thought I'd mention it whilst I remember. So I'm just cooking a crossless quiche for lunch today and I get a bit peckish while I'm waiting because it's another 30 minutes it's going to be in there uh, so I'm eating the kids leftovers of course it wasn't the pizza I'm eating <laughs> that went straight in the uh, bin um, but I'm eating the leftover carrots and tomatoes it's all speed um, and then I'll show you my lunch when it's ready so here is today's lunch I've got the crustless quiche I'll show, um, link the recipe below I've served it with a massive salad with a tablespoon of lighter than light mayonnaise for half a sin I've also got the um, sweet chili sauce which is sin free and the quiche has got half my healthy extra A in it um, the other half is my almond milk so I just wanted to show you my little mini haul um, from when I went to Bath um, this weekend. Um, so I went into Primani and uh, or Primark <laughs> um, and I saw this. Now this is a little top, it's got a little mark on it though, I need to try and get that out. I did wash it and it, that wasn't there earlier so I'm wondering if it's something that's just caught on it. Um, there was some makeup on it, on it and some of my makeup on it when I tried it on as well so I just wanted to wash that but it's I've been wanting one of these tops for ages um, I saw them in Zara and I think it was like $25.99 or $29.99 um, this is in Primark and it was £12 reduced to £5 um, I got a size 8 because otherwise they looked like a 10 on me um, I know they are meant to be loose but it was really loose so um, I got that and I got a little vest top which is I think £1.80 it's an absolute bargain this is a size 12 I literally I don't even know if it fits I just grabbed it because um, it's quite tight fitting anyway and I didn't want it too restricted it's just a little vest top to go underneath and that was 180 I think and then I also saw this you can't really see the colour very well um, I don't know if you can see it. it's like a bright orange basically it's um this was 10 pounds and this is a small and it just fits nice I didn't want it too baggy because I've got lots of baggy jumpers um, and it fits really nice and it looks a bit like and feels really soft a bit like mohair I remember my mum had some mohair jumpers in the 80s um, and it just looks and feels like that um, and they had loads of different colours but I really like, I thought I'd be a bit daring and go for orange um, I'm going to show you what these look like on afterwards um, I also bought this little hairband I've been wanting one of these for ages I wanted a headband and they had one in leopard print but it just didn't really show didn't make a statement or anything um, so I just got one of the um, stretchy ones and it looks quite cute on um, it's just something I would wear sort of now and again like if we're going out for the day but I just want to dress an outfit up um, and it's a red I don't know if you can see it, it's red leopard print everyone knows that I love my leopard print um, I think that was like 3 99 or 2 99 um, I saw one in anthropology which was an actual Alice band headband and it was really really nice but when I looked at the price it's 28 99 I thought uh, no um, so 
yeah I uh, saw these in New Look and I thought I'd get that <laughs> this I saw ages ago this is a size 12 I ideally actually wanted a size 10 but I think it'll be right with 17.99 I didn't pay for any of this down <laughs> treated me bless him um so it was even more of a bargain um but it's like kind of a leopard print florally effect I did see it online it's no longer online anymore um but yeah it looks it's quite loose fitting I don't know if it's gonna be a bit too loose if I do get to target um but I like it for now anyway so I will show you what they look like so this is the green top um it is actually quite baggy I might see if my local new look has size 10 they only had like a size 6 um or this 12 so but it's not it's not too bad I just I'm quite busty so I don't really want it to gape here um and at the moment it fits nice but I will see I mean my aunt is a seamstress so I could always ask if she could take it in for me I'm sure it's be quite easy to take in um just to, so it's not too roomy but yeah this is oh hi Sydney <laughs> yeah so this is the uh, green top and I will probably team it with some black trousers it does look right with the blue actually um but we'll probably team it with black um just because uh, this lighting in here is rubbish that's a bit better don't know if you can see that um but yeah I might team it with black I'm not sure it does look quite nice actually with the blue but um, what do you think, Sydney? What do you think of my top? I'm good. 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 I'm Sydney. I'll show you the white this one. The white top. Sorry, I'm having to charge my phone up at the same time. Um, uh, so the white stretchy top underneath. It's just a white vest top. It's fine. Does the job. Um, I probably could do with the white vest top underneath actually a little bit lower. Um, I think maybe I have to look at some maybe different like all-in-one underwear. I don't know. Um, Sydney, you're not that keen on it, are you, Sydney? Mm -mm. He says I look like I'm from the olden days, but I quite like it. Um, it's very girly for me. But I do do girly. Um, which is, yeah, it looks quite nice. I don't know. I think it looks quite nice at this. I have seen people wear them with, oh sorry, with dungarees. Um, just being a bit different. But yeah, it does need to iron it. But I quite like it, and for five quid, it's an absolute bargain. So, um, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So, here is the orange jumper. You can't, <laughs> it looks red in this light, but it's actually, it's actually orange. And, um, yeah, I just, it, it's really lovely. I, I think it fits quite well. I don't want it baggy because I've got so, so many baggy jumpers. I just wanted something a bit different and a bit, a bit leery for me. And um, they had this in like a soft blush, but I just did, didn't think it suited me. It made me look a bit sort of washed out um but they had a cream a very pale gray which was really nice um a dark royal blue which is lovely and a green a bottle of green that was nice and there was i think black as well um, but i've got black like roll neck anyway um but yeah it's so soft like so soft i think i could live in this i think with this with like a pair of converse um maybe these jeans or my skinny jeans I'm not sure or just I don't know Adidas trainers maybe I don't know but yeah I'm really pleased with this one so I thought it'd be better just to look at this camera but the, here is the I haven't done this right I don't know I need to have a little play around with it um, I also need to get rid of my middle part in and brush it back and um, bring the hair forward maybe a bit but it's just a little bit different um, yeah I'm not sure it looks nice in the shop anyway um, if not, I'll just use it for cleaning around the house, but I quite like it. It did look really nice when I did it in the shop. My hair was a bit better. My hair was straighter. Um, and if I, sorry, I'm just trying to look in there. If I brush it back so it's smooth and then it kind of, I don't know, it will look better than what it is now, but that's what it looks like on. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you. So I just had a little bit more quiche. Um, I actually had a little bit of the one that I had earlier I couldn't eat all of it so I just had like like a third of what I had left so what I had um already on my plate so I just ate the rest of that now so um yeah I'm still like within my healthy extras um and everything I've had 
how many sins have I had so far? Oh, my book's here. I've had one sin so far because I had the mayonnaise and then the sriracha sauce this morning. Um, for dinner tonight, I really fancy potatoes. I have done all day. So I'm going to make burger in a bowl, which I have made last last week. So you've probably seen it already. <laughs> but I'm going to have that. Um, and then I've got quite a few sins to play with for a little treat later. Um, I didn't have any like little treats when I was on holiday, well, say holiday, two nights away. Um, but yeah, apart from the, the beer that I mentioned. Um, so maybe I will have some quark with some frozen fruit. Maybe I've got some summer fruit that could be used up. Although I've got lots of fresh strawberries. We've got three punnets, like the, the big size punnets, like 400 grams three of those for two pound they were like sell them off at the end of the market um sorry on the market at the end of the day so we bought three punnets and we ate a punnet like on the sunday and i've got two punnets left so i think i'm gonna have those some strawberries i think with some blueberries that need using up um maybe some quark and then i've still got my healthy extra b as well to eat so i might have maybe two high fi bars or i could do like a cheesecake kind of thing um i'm not sure i'll have to have a little think decide what i want to do um but yeah i will show you anyway later here's tonight's dinner it's not that exciting i'm sorry i will try and do some different recipes but it's a burger in a bowl again um it's back it's uh, potato wedges with the beef mince on the top, um, a cheese slice, which is the lighter one from Tesco's, which is three sins, and burger sauce, a tablespoon, which is two sins. I've topped it with some salad and also a massive size salad on the side. So I'm finishing off the night with this gorgeous bowl full of goodies. It is a uh, quark which I've sweetened with um, some skinny syrup. There's blueberries and strawberries in there. I've got two hi-fi bars, one which is the Rocky Road and one which is the salted caramel. Um, and I've topped it with a tablespoon of the skinny a maple syrup from skinny food which is free and i've also got one meringue nest in there which needed using up and that is two and a half sins so i'm ending the day on eight and a half sins thank you for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed this video sorry it's been a bit of a long one and um i shall catch up with you all very soon take care bye